Hey folks, Quill18 here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars. It's the uh, Green Planet expansion, continuing the game that we started uh, once on a live stream and having a lovely little time here. We're quite spread out in a starting area over here. We had to go all the way over here to get some rare metals, which is, you know, certainly putting some overhead on our uh, transportation and logistics and whatnot. But, you know, we've, we've, we've passed through the hardest part of the game, which was like making sure our basic production is up to snuff. Um, I'm actually wondering about putting another fuel factory over here. Maybe I should turn off a fuel thing over here. Although now we do consume a fair amount. But because we've got a polymer factory over here, we're not really producing as much fuel as we used to. So we should maybe, oh. Oh, five electronics. Luckily, oh, we've got tons of electronics now. <laughs> it's machine parts that's being hammered, mostly as a lack of workers over by our machining dome. We may need to shuffle a few things around there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, open farms, yeah, baby. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get another fuel refinery set up right over here. Rare metals, you're here. I'm gonna do, sorry, I do wanna send more passengers, but we're gonna do a cargo rocket. Hurry real quick with some machine parts. I'm gonna do that. No, I want 60. And then I'm actually gonna ship a bunch of seeds. Boom. Because I wanna get some seed spreaders over here. Like, I don't know, maybe this should be near the domes, especially if you're, you're gonna do open farming. Like maybe a seed spreader right in between all these domes. It just feels like there's not as much tear to it improve. On the other hand, it would look very nice. Let's get a concrete extractor right here. Um, let's try to avoid, I guess it's gonna dust things anyway, unless maybe I'll move. Right like that. There you go, it's dusting our non-existent dome. We'll just sort of clear this out for 2,500 concrete. Maybe it's not gonna clear out that quickly. Send you there. I don't think we've got any anomalies to do. Oh, you know what? We have so many electronics. We can do the space telescope. Yes! Yes! And get an extra 400 science per soul forever. Oh my god, I'd forgotten about that project. Inactive work shift, and you need some maintenance soon. Mostly we need some machine parts. Yeah, so things are going to start breaking down again. If the electronics factory breaks down, then you get this, like, really annoying situation. And we're researching the moisture farm, which is gonna be good. I mean, right now we, we're sort of okay, although we're mostly heavily reliant on these water deposits here. So getting the evaporators is gonna be really good for the long run. There we go, big payload. Yeah, I will drop it off over here. Because we need some machine parts over here right now, because we don't actually produce the machine parts in this area. Boom, so that got our fuel refinery done. I'm just gonna bring down the priority here. So it's the last thing to steal, water and power. You were waiting, I think, for some more machine parts. That's the, one of the reasons we ran low is because we were putting this carbonate processor down. In fact, yeah, it consumed a bunch real quick because we sent, what, 60? We're already down to 30. But if we do this, we can start producing atmosphere. Boom. Burn waste rock, produce CO2. Needs 50 power. Funding received. Funding received, done. I think what we're gonna do is we'll send a passenger rocket and launch you. We're low on machine parts again. But I did change, I did set the priority on this high. So yeah, now it'll be worked. Um, there's you know a fair number of non-specialists or incorrect specialists over here, but that'll that'll be handled with some schooling and whatnot. I mean, there might simply be a mismatch on what specialists we need right now, but as we continue to build, it should mostly be okay. Especially once we start sort of importing people and rely more on the university to make the specialties we're missing, that's gonna be fine. We don't have the Hawkins Institute. No, that's still in the queue. Right, that's gonna be the next thing after the moisture farming. Which again, maybe we could delay the moisture farming, but I only wanna delay it so long. And then we start to get some issues. All right, this dome, fairly happy. Missing service building gaming? No, I believe there's gaming over here. Maybe that's an old message. Because you can now gamble your butt off over here. At some point we'll open up this other dome. I don't know what we'll do with this one. I mean, I guess it could be more manufacturing. Although not really machine parts. What we're gonna wanna do is we're probably gonna have to find another place with some you know, good metal deposits. That's very high, which is good. 
average here and then we've got this one here which is very high with a thousand sort of out of the way though might be nice to I mean I don't know I guess we could find the metal somewhere else uh, these are passengers I would like you if at all possible to work here if you can I mean some will still move to the other place and that's okay should probably go and build a second um, shuttle hub funding received new colonists have arrived all right so you're here if we go so launch SETI satellite that gives us money grants funding multiple uses of the project will use, yield diminishing returns um, we might see some of those but yeah we want the high-speed comm satellite so people suggested that this was 400 science per soul forever which I would hope given the price we're gonna send this expedition boom done Ooh, inner light the note in your hand bears your, your eyes flutter open. Lots of text, which is maybe it's a great story, but you. take the cure together. Take okay. In your hand. No people will help us refine the cure and make it safer. I don't know. We'll take the cure together. It's romantic. Oh, a dreamer died. <laughs> it's romantic, and they're dead. Something something, Romeo and Juliet is a stupid story. Are you, oh, you've been turned off. Right, okay, we can turn you back on here. That's gonna be okay. I mean, we still have tons of metal, but then it's local. Leak detected, whee. So we're going that, and they're all specialists now. That's good. Production per soul is outstripping our maintenance. All right, so our machine parts is gonna be okay, except for some of these giant projects we're building. Water's being hammered a bit. Uh, do we have a shuttle at home? We do. Let's do that. Get the last of the current patch of Earthlings. We'll have to wait for them to start sort of regenerating more applicants, but for now we're okay. Looks like, um, I was going to say I could put more waste rock over here, but we're going to be dumping a bunch of waste rock over here, specifically shuttling it over for the carbonate processor. I suspect we're going to want more than one of these. They're very expensive and they eat a lot of machine parts, so maybe not yet. Stupid leaks. Oh, and we've got some. Okay, they're near here, so they're going to be able to get fixed. Yeah, it's this, this thing here, the dust devil, causing us issues. Water resources are low, but we're almost, we're almost there. Ninety-three percent. And then that'll fix our water. Well, basically forever. I mean, we'll have to keep up with the, you know, production of it, but. Yeah, unlocking that tech makes such a big difference. All right, full set of people here. Lots of students here. Is morale zero? No, 50. Okay. I don't know. That was weird. Yeah, we're still at minus one water. Now, these things... Um, these fuel refiners are lowest priority, so we're actually fine on water. Like, no one's... Our farms are going to be working. Our people are going to have... They're not going to get dehydrated. We just don't have enough water to run all our fuel refineries, which is A-OK. -okay. Um, I'm going to go and... Oh, you're preparing for a mission. I'll just send you down here then. That's okay. Right, you're loading up a ton of resources. Fuel, which we've got. Metal, which we've got. Electronics, which we've got. New colonists. Moisture farming. Yes. Okay. So we've got some vaporators here already. Um, so I do want to spread these out a fair bit. So that they can't all be wiped out. Put one here. sort of going to want to build this until we've got like well i guess we won't see a surplus of water at any point um what do you need to build you need some polymers so we're going to add polymers here and here i don't think they'll need it for maintenance what do you need to maintain this you need metal which is going to be okay New planetary anomalies, really? New technologies, that's just revealing it, but that's okay. So more than one expedition going on right now, that'll be all right. 
So you're done, and we do have the hygro, I think I always say hydroscopic, which seems to make more sense to me, but hygroscopic coatings. We'll probably upgrade a bunch of these to that. So yeah, if I go here, there, it won't produce it as well, but here we're fine. So we'll do that one. I'll drop one over here as well. Leaks detected. Womp womp. Anomaly analyzed. And then yeah, this stupid thing. Your text available. To the Baron and Localized terraforming. Resil deep off. metal extraction. Project Mohol. Creative disposition. Oh, that opens up a new workshop. Right, right, right. Out dome buildings need less maintenance. Boom. Um, I'll keep the queue like this, but I will certainly make sure to add that in there. Saving tons of material, tons of work. Uh, oxygen. Do we have an oxygen leak? No, I think it's just possible we're literally not producing enough oxygen. Okay. Uh, oh, you're back from an expedition, so we'll just drop you off over there. Oh no, we're back up to eight. Okay, maybe there was a split or a leak or something in there. So you're back, so we can send you over here. Need six engineers to reveal a breakthrough. Hell yes! Please do! We still have almost four billion dollars back home. I think we did send a machine parts shipment not that long ago. Uh, we might do another one to help to get another carbonate processor here. I mean, we are up to 2% atmosphere, but it would be nice to keep that rocking a little bit faster. And we will build it sort of around here, because that's where we're requesting this stuff. That could be another good place for a concrete mine, since, you know, this is where we want the waste rock to be. Uh, plus two. Right, because we're refilling our water, but... Breakthrough discovered. Boom. Boom, there we go. We're fine there. Core metals. Oh, oh, this is... It reveals a rich underground metal deposit. Yeah, okay. And then, yeah, we still have some more breakthroughs here. Like, breakthroughs are usually, like, the greatest, and these are like, eh, all right. So what we're going to want to do is we're kind of want to babysit these um, these water extractors. So right now they're at full production because I think they're refilling things. But we want to like we want to bring these down so that they're basically not being used very extensively at all. Mostly by building more of these guys. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and give them the upgrade now, and then queue up some more construction over here. So you're fine there. I'll have to swing you to the other side. Actually, I guess I could do... Here. Here's fine. Done and done. You're ready to take off. Um, Hold on. I think we have another anomaly. Right down there. Five engineers. Well, let's do it. I think six are being sent to one place, but... Eventually they'll come back. We actually might have that many engineers with all our education and the amount of people that we've imported at this point. We have over 200 people now. So I'm betting we can run both at the same time. So yeah, so we're upgrading some of these things. We're still producing water right now at full pin because we're trying to refill our water supplies that have been dramatically obliterated. There you go, you're fine there. And you're fine here. These guys will gain efficiency as there's more uh, moisture in the atmosphere. Research complete. Research complete. 4,000 science from that. And the Martian Institute of Science is done, which is great. Speaking of, you know, boosting our research some more. I'm going to want to build two of these. And then uh, we'll also have to open up the ships. And I mean, really, in a sense, I should wait until they're, they're all full. But here, I'm going to go ahead and unlock that shift. Uh, we'll check to see if there's spy jobs available. I suspect the answer is new. It is. So let's do the spy jobs, and then we'll, at that point, we'll send the rockets back to Earth, and I'm willing to bet there's going to be many applicants waiting for us at that point. I don't think there's any way for us to preview how many people are waiting. 
But yeah, resources are okay. Ah, late crafting. Yes. I'm very excited. So much so that it's making me a little sing-songy. Yeah, still filling up the water supplies. Nearly at capacity. Not that the capacity is that much, to be honest. So I'm still gonna build, I'm gonna build two more, and then what we'll do is we'll check how our water extractors are doing. So I wanna get the vast majority of my water, I wanna just pull out of the atmosphere. We have negative power at night. Now we have, have we ever gotten around to upgrading these guys? Research nope, complete. so I'm gonna control click those. Utility crops unlocked. Ooh, inner light you resonance. Under your more wishes. dreamers experience. Let more dreamers experience a mirage. Right. More dreamers that we have, the more we advance that event. So we are making dreamers via the school. I mean, we might want to have more schooling things set up, but so far so good. Upgrade. So if we check over here, now that we're done, you can see it's at zero. We're done filling up our water storage. There we go. Our water extractors are basically not working at all. They're at a, a trickle. So almost all of our water is coming from the evaporators. So that's going to be good. This is going to support, you know, as the production loads change on day-night cycles as a result of our fuel refineries or as we build, you know, more domes with more farms or something like that or change the balance from our crops. But yeah, I'm really happy where we are now because that's going to be very, very, very self-sustaining. Looks like we uh, could use some dumping sites. This general vicinity for all these things. No workers there. I do have it still set to low priority because it's a rather poor thing. Um, oh, I guess um, actually, since our espionage timers are up, I'm gonna send you there, and then we'll have to do Russia next. On uh, this work slots, so we are gonna need a little more housing there. I never did discover the arcology, right? It's in the queue, but I haven't done it. No, so we'll just build another apartment here. Research complete. Select a sector to scan. <gasps> hey, I can start deep scanning. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Okay. Let's go pretty fast. We still have a lot of sensor towers all over the place. Uh, resilient architecture, yes. Out of dome buildings, less maintenance. Drones work faster in landscape for progress. I don't really care. Unlock open farms, but we're sort of far from being able to use it. Um, I'll go ahead and unlock the magnetic field generator. There's, yeah, more projects we could unlock. Um, deep water deposits. Fusion reactor. Let me get, we've, we've got some, some old cheap ones over here that we can go and pop fairly quickly after some fairly expensive ones. Oh no! Our officers were caught by Japan. And uh, you're still working on a high-speed comm satellite. So I think we can still do this by against Russia. It's twice we've been caught spying. <laughs> no payload. Mm-hmm. I think, oh, we have seeds. Say, what, what buildings aren't working then? I mean, this one, for sure. I don't know. Polymer count. I mean, we should be producing a lot of polymer. We're just using a lot of poly polymer as well. The patient. Okay, hold on. Russia, steel technologies, and go. The patient. Uh, spotted wandering the waste near a wrecked shuttle, wearing a spacesuit, unfamiliar design. Oh, this is the guy who's gonna die over time. Deaf and dumb, or deaf and numb. Mysterious ailment. Um, whoever ejected this person out to die is nothing like us. Bring them in for treatment. Yeah, yeah, we'll bring them to treatment. Experimental drugs. $50 million to keep one person alive. I think what happens with this person, if I remember the story, is mostly, I think they're going to die eventually. I mean, I guess everyone dies eventually. But because we've, like, improved their quality of life and given them great comfort, I think we're going to get a morale boost throughout our colony. Those are people think of themselves uh, pretty highly after all that. All right, we're not generating tons of power, but we're certainly generating some. We are generating more atmosphere as well. Oh, right, we do have our our, um, our water tech. So one thing I want to find out, let's make a huge lake. Oh, look at the shape, Is there are there different ones? A cycle between visual variants. Oh my, 
Oh my. I mean, near the water extractor sort of makes sense, right? Let me do this. I'm not going to... Um, shoot. I'm going to cancel this. I don't want to hook you up to power. What I want to see is if you need to be powered. Anomaly found. To run. You need much concrete, which we do deliver some over here, which is going to be fine. Covert Ops, that one was successful. Russia's closing their trade route because they're cranky now. I mean, I don't blame them. So what I want to see is this lake is if it improves soil quality by there itself. Um, did I kill the power here? Apparently. Anomaly found. Nice. Nice with the anomalies. Oh, you lost one of your drones over here. That's okay. Um, what? That's going to look cool. Improve soil quality. So yeah, it will. So maybe we can sort of skip the lichen phase. Because it's just, I guess it's just moisturizing the uh, the terrain here. Cryosleep. Passenger rockets carry 20 more passengers. Okay. We still have a tech for it as well. Oh, your storage is full over here. Let's, um... Dumping site, dumping site, so you can start working again. All right, high speeds comm satellite is done. Resulting speed which data is now transferred makes everyone wonder how they got everything done before. Need that uh, special project done. Yeah, man, you need that uh, that high speed internet. Look at this, oh man, we're gonna make some really cool landscapes here. The patient. Yep, custom medication. Seems to have quite uplifting effect on them. Yeah, we'll spend more money. And you're ready to land over here. So that's the one back from building a space telescope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a reforestation plant over here as well. Oh, look at the radius of this thing. So I'm going to build it out. Yeah, sure. Somewhere like this. Now, doesn't we have the thing that we don't need it to have power or maintenance? Uh, maybe it still needs maintenance, but it doesn't need power. There's more to the barren waste lock liquefaction. So if we weren't burning our waste rock for atmosphere, we'd be able to um, use it Anomaly to found. make us some concrete. Here, let's do this here. You're ready to launch. Um, let's go on and do some more special projects. Well, oh no, one's already on its way home because I want to bring some more passengers in here. Greenhouse gases. We've got the money, we've got the fuel. may cause toxic rain yeah because there's a there's a point where the atmospheric condition starts generating toxic there's rain but if you keep pushing past it, it's going to be okay Ooh, orbital engineering i think is our um our space elevator so let's just export things for more easily as well as import things quite cheaply so let's keep improving some of the terrain all over the place i don't know more lake Is this the same land I just... Nope, this is a different one. Uneven terrain. Is it? Uh, maybe I don't want to cover up the vista. I mean, I guess there's going to be some of that anyway. All right, right over here. Oh, right, you don't actually need power. We had established over here. This is not hooked up to power. It just needs a water output. Eh, still. A little power cable is fine. No upgrades for you or anything? No. You can change the day-night cycle just in case there's like a power shortage at some point. Um, there are earth sick colonists. Really? You're earth sick? Comfort zero. Unprepared meal. Full. So you're not getting the dining hall. Eh, I mean, we could, we could change some of the configuration of things over here. Oh, um, and you're making me seeds, right. And then over here, is there food 1k? Yeah, we can change more of these farms. Um, this farm here. Yeah, let me change this to a seed crop. I know that's gonna sort of script the food and do this. This will leave us at 100% for the potatoes. And over here, same thing. I'm gonna set none, seed crop, 
And right, cover crop just grows it really fast. The patient. New drug made. Extend the life of the patient. Custom drugs seem to sustain the patient in good enough condition for them to take short walks across the dome, around the dome, and even indulge in brief, enjoyable activities. Though unable to communicate with any of us, there seems to be a positive aura around the patient, which fills our colonists with certain determination to become better versions of themselves. Further research. Yep, we'll keep paying for it. Select the sector to We scan. still don't know what happened to them. But we're trying to make them as comfortable and happy as possible. And gosh darn it, that makes us good people. Alright, magnetic upgrade. We have tons of oxygen production. And we're currently sitting at zero for the water. Which means and we're just getting a trickle in here. And there's a little bit more water being extracted here. We could probably go and build more of these. I guess, oh, we're building these huge lakes. So that's going to be part of it, because it does consume water. I think once they're full, they don't consume as much. Research complete. There you go. Resilient architecture. Outdome buildings require maintenance less often. That's a huge thing. Um, this is fairly expensive, too, but then we're going to burn through a bunch of cheap guys. Um, just improve more efficiency, but that's okay. Uh, negative power at night... Spam the wind turbines, which as we get more and more atmosphere will become more and more efficient. Are low. Oh, low in machine parts, which we're using to build these. Do we have a rocket at home? We do. Let me go ahead. I think we're going to send some passengers. I'll send a bunch of machine parts. Uh, Palmer's is going to be okay. Here, we'll send a bunch of seeds. Launch. I mean, we're trying to grow some. Yeah, you're waiting for some seeds to arrive over here. Right, um, we need to make sure there is a seed storage for you in range. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm holding control. I'm going to set the desired amount of seeds at all the seed depots to at least five to spread the love. More mirages. Look at the purple water over here while the mirage is running. Amazing. Consumes water to fill up and then requires constant refilling. But yeah, I don't think it needs as much water once it's full. Right now the water consumption is 10. We'll see what happens when it um, when it fills up completely. See if it's still at 10 or not. All right, these have been built. We still have a fair amount of polymers. I'm gonna go ahead and control click to upgrade all the polymer, but oh, no, they only need two. So yeah, the big ones really are more efficient, but you can jam the small ones in some of these gaps here. Um, yeah, we'll do that because excess power equals more tech, which yeah, presumably we're getting I'm assuming the sponsor research of 800 includes the bonus from our telescope here. And I think it, it must. I think it must. The patient. Further research has been made. Who abandoned them here? Where did they come from? How do they get afflicted? Health is deteriorating rapidly. Yet they go around the dome giving a hand to random colonists with mundane chores. We take this as their way of giving thanks. Sickness and disease more or less become a thing of the past for humanity. This is why people are reacting so strongly to the woes of the stranger and are more inspired by the will and willfulness shown despite their grim situation. We will keep paying. And what are you? Oh, your food and machine parts. Yeah, we'll just dump you here. Or not food, your seeds and machine parts. Boom. There you go. It's starting to spread that. Uh, but we still can't do grass because we need the moisture level in the air to be 10%. Still, some people are leaving. 99. So yeah, we're gonna see if this consumption changes. Oh, oh, new special project: to import greenhouse gases. Oh no, we I think did we just run this one? I think we just ran it. There we go. There you go. Drops down to two. That's kind of what's expected. And now you're producing over here and still using up a fair amount of water, but then you'll drop as well. Meanwhile, water level should go up. But yeah, I guess here's the thing, right? We've got the terraforming tools, so we're flattening Mars, but then we're like. Filling it with lakes afterwards. Lakes detected. Let's build another giant lake over here. There we go. And it does randomly select the layout. Um, there's a couple of vistas. So, you know what? Let's maybe build one up here. We've got some greenery going on. We've got a couple of little lakes. Re 
research complete. Yeah, I'll run it this way and then sort of scrooge it over there. That's going to be fine. Magnetic field generator research is done. Um, drone hub. Let's say there should be one over here. Yeah, there we go. Show me the overlap. Get you in here. And a universal depot. So magnetic field generator. So if we look here, yeah, we are currently not losing any atmosphere from lack of magnetic field. And that's sort of what I expected might be the case. So you probably have to get it fairly high before it becomes a problem. Export you. Still have room for people. Research complete. Research on Sterling Generator. I think we can open up this dome. We're gonna go ahead and get this built up. Oh, the patient again. Oh, soon be submitted to the infirmary when last treatment. Despite the grand sum of money being spent on the patient to no avail, the colonist seems to celebrate the effort being done to aim the stranger's life. So I think this brings us to like a quarter billion dollars spent on this one person. I'm not complaining, I'm just commenting. And again, I think the payoff is like higher morale and things, which is nice. It's nice when we get to do good things for people. We're connected here. We'll probably disconnect some of this stuff to make room for a tunnel here once this gets built. I'm going to open up the second work shift here. That's already been done here. Atomic accumulator, so a big giant battery. You've broken down over there, so let's get that hooked up. Um, there we go, deep scan things. And we still can't work those sites, but that's okay. We plan for our next steps. Okay, um, so we're gonna go here, salvage, boom, boom. Might as well trim those back. do this we don't need power for those buildings but and then under domes passage from here to there there we go looks all right i mean i could build the, the little ramps and stuff to go over things but i'm okay with this i'm also okay with the length of this video folks 30 minutes in i think this is a good place for us to wrap things up Get a new dome going on. Um, it might get another electronics factory. Hell, it might. It it could, like, it could work this polymer factory. Provide extra goods for places. You have a lot of work slots and not actually enough housing. But if we build an apartment here, that'll be exactly the ratio that we need to make everything work. Oh, the patient. Patient has died. We did all we could, but fell short in the end. Many colonists have gained the enthusiast perk. We stand by one another as humans. You're goddamn right we do. Humans first. Oh, actually, that's that's a mad mindset that leads to many, many, many bad things. Such as ignoring the environment and whatnot. But uh, these are squeezed too tight together for me to be able to ramp there. But it would be nice to merge these up, wouldn't it? So, let's go ahead and... I don't actually have to uh, blow up the, um, the pipes. But, you know clicks are gonna click because I think we can just pipe over this just fine um, and power wise yeah I think we're all we're okay you're still getting power getting that for redundancy emergency training increases all security officer and medics which is good how's this dome vacant work slots but not residential ones. I think then um, it's a little tricky with the two things, but what we can do um, is we can squeeze in one, not living complex, but living quarters right over here. And that's about it. And then I guess we'll just uh, put a couple of oops, small gardens here and here. And we could change a few things, but that'll do pretty okay. And like, if we could select what dome this is attached to, then maybe we could balance the jobs a bit, but I think we're gonna be all right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get another, I mean, we've got tons of electronics, but the big mega projects we build later on need a ton of them as well. 
Oh, I don't actually have the blueprints for it. Well then, maybe not. I can move the education over here. I mean, I could just build another research dome even without the research site. Are we getting 4K right now? Jeez! We do have a bunch of genius colonists as well. And these aren't even like fully packed buildings. Holy cow. Uh, what if it's just a big food dome? That might be a good idea. I mean, we've got tons of food now, but we're going to be continuing to grow our population. And actually what we can do is we can make a bunch of seed production. Aha! Aha! Tell you what, we're going to get a ranch. Because we're going to pretend we get fertilizer from that, even though I don't think that's a mechanic in the game. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a trio of farms over here. I think it's going to be a fairly low density place, so I'm actually going to build some living complexes for higher comfort. Battery optimization. Oh, no tech. Um, let's get the arcology. Giant megadomes. Production increased. Maybe. Again, I'll try to get some of these cheap ones. Columns without specialization. That is... Uh, maybe we'll do a sanatorium dome at some point. Don't take sanity damage from out dome buildings. That seems like a pretty good idea as well. So we're going to sort of encourage botanists over here. I mean, they'll move here ultimately by themselves. It's going to be okay. Even, like, vanilla surviving Mars like this, um, things have gotten a little bit smarter. So there's going to be fewer job slots here, which I think is fine. Yeah, there we go. Well, I mean, they could potentially do more, but I think we're all right. So these guys here... Alright, do I want some seed crops? We actually might have them do. We could have them double dose the seed crop. At least for now. It'll increase fertility faster, but we might end up just leaving it on. Do we have a rocket at home? Yeah. Passengers. Go. Yeah, we can do two of these back to back. What's your deal? You're waiting to unload your machine parts. There are there colonists. Boom, 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 boom. We need some services over here. Diner. Infirmary. Grocer. So what do we have here? We got chicken, or no, goose. We'll do some goose, some rabbits, and some chickens on various cycles. Excellent. Because who doesn't love animals? Well, I don't know, some sort of animal hater person. I'm sure they exist, but screw them. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to wait for some botanists to show up over here. We still have a baby-making dome somewhere, which might happen. We don't have an upgrade for our infirmaries, do we? No, we do not. To get a new anomaly, that's cool. You're ready to take off now that you are empty. We're going to send you back home, get ready to pick up some people. Excellent. Didn't I say I was going to end this episode at some point? I think that sounds like something I might have said. And that didn't happen. Why oh, have the random research lab over here? I mean, it does have the research boost from here. Is there something else I'd rather do with this? No, I don't know. Oh, are these all the dreamers? Oh my god. I didn't realize they, like, actually passed out on the ground during the dream events. <laughs> Crop failure, that's not a real thing. That's from these guys over here because they didn't have any workers at the time. So, uh, are you a botanist? You are a botanist. What's your specific comes with? Relaxation. Oh, you've got an extra thing, because you're an alcoholic and a gambler. So I think luxury. Is a botanist want luxury? They do want luxury. Well, we do have a lot of electronics. What if we just put down... Oh, that's the wrong thing. Is it art store for luxury? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, he uses polymers, but we do make polymers here. There's more to the Dream fusion. I think we're gonna get 
I don't know if we get a prefab for that, or we just have to do it to finish it. Something like that. Um, what do we got going on here? Oh. Oh, okay, this is repeatable, but it increases the science per soul less each time. Still, let's do it, because it was 400 the first time. Let's run it again. And then let's wrap up this episode here, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.